Waste Tires Recycling Plant covers a total area of 15,000 square meters and is mainly composed of six functional areas, which are 3,000 square meters of raw material storage workshop, 3,000 square meters of production workshop, 800 square meters of carbon black product storage workshop, 400 square meters of fuel oil storage tanks and combustible gas storage tanks, 400 square meters of steel wire product storage workshop, 400 square meters of office building. The rest are internal roads and green land. The production equipment is six units of pyrolysis production lines, which can process 18,000 tons of waste tires per year producing 7,200 tons of fuel oil, 6,300 tons of carbon black product, and 2,700 tons of steel wire product. The feeding process adopts a hydraulic auto feeder driven by 50 tons of hydraulic thrust. Waste tires are compacted into pyrolysis reactor while the reactor keeps rotating, which can maximize the loading efficiency and safety. After the feeding process is completed, the feeding port is closed and the burners start to heat the pyrolysis reactor. The reactor keeps rotating in production so that waste tires inside are uniformly heated. Under high temperature and oxygen-free conditions, pyrolysis reaction carries out and waste tires are decomposed into two states, gas and solid. The gas enters the subsequent condensing system, passes through the condensing pipes connected in series inside the condenser, and becomes fuel oil after liquidation. The oil is collected and stored in oil tanks. The non-condensable gas is collected into combustible gas storage tanks through a gas recovery device and supplied as fuel to the burners of the heating system. The flue gas generated by the burners is sequentially purified by six desulfurization and denitration scrubbers and eventually meets the environmental requirements of gas emission. After pyrolysis reaction is completed, the solid residue inside the reactor, that is, carbon black, is offloaded from the reactor, transported to the collection tank via a pneumatic conveying device, and packaged and placed in the storage workshop. The steel wire is offloaded from the reactor in the end and placed in the storage workshop. The above is a brief description of production process. Waste Tires Pyrolysis Plant provides a practical solution for waste tire management with both environmental and economic benefits. Taking this video as an example, the annual processing capacity of the project is 18,000 tons of waste tires. The annual sales income is about $3.4 million. The operating cost is about $1.7 million. The profit before tax is about $1.7 million. The payback period of the project investment is generally within two years. For more information, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.